Hello, my name's Adam, and I'm going to be discussing um, another version of Topl, which is T-A-F-L. It's an Old Norse uh, game. The Old Norse pronunciation of the, of the game is called Topl. And there's different versions of the game. Um, I want to refer everybody to this series here. I wrote it out. I'll keep it up here um, throughout this video. But it's the first series I did, and it's on a version of Topl called Toblet. Um, and that was a 9x9 nine nine board with a smaller number of pieces. But um, all games of top are, they're basically, you can use similar rules for, for them all. The movement of the pieces are the same and, and certain other things. Strategies can be a little different because the pieces are set, sort of set up differently. Then there's a different number of them in each game, version of the game. And there's a different number of squares in each sort of version of the game. This version of top is called Nefetapl, and uh, basically what differentiates this piece from Toblet and from the other versions of the game is that it has 11 squares by 11 squares, so the, the number of squares on the board is different, the size of the board. Also the number of pieces. Um, this has more than, than Toblet. This, this game has uh, 12 defenders of the king, and so there's 13 on this side, and then the other player will play the 24 pieces around around the king. Those are the attackers. Also, I call, even though these are brown in this set, they're online, when you play online, these will be, these will be black, so sometimes I'll call this black. These are usually always white. Um, and in this series, when I'm talking about this game, I'm just going to sort of overview the same, they have the same rules as Toblet when you're playing to the edge, <clears throat> and um, uh, but the strategy is a little different. So to, to get to get an in-depth look at the rules, again go to go to find this on YouTube, and then this right here is a play is actually a place on the internet, a site where, where a gaming site where you can play this, and it it's labeled as Nefetop version A, and uh, it's at DragonHeelsLayer.com. It's DragonHeelsLayer.com. And you can play this game that I'm showing you here. So this is where escape will be to the edge. You could also play to the corner. And I'll make a series of videos on that. But this, right now, I'm just f tidying up everything and, and, and finishing up edge escape games. So, starting off with that, um, just I'm just going to briefly review what the rules are uh, that I went over for this in more detail. But I'm just, I'm just going to, on this video, I'm just going to say it. Uh, quickly. So rule one is that all pieces move like rooks orthogonally, uh, you know, this way and that way. Um, they don't jump over pieces, they don't move diagonally, um, they just move like a rook. Uh, then the king side in this version, when you play to the edge, the king will win when he r lands on the edge of the board, um, and he's going to lose if he's surrounded on four sides. Um, when you play to the edge, you can have them either surrounded on, on four sides by the opposing team or you can have them surrounded on two if the king captures. So if the king's allowed to take part in captures then it's best to surround him with two. That makes it when you're played to the edge. If he's not going to capture then it's best to surround him by four by four of the opposing team. And that's what I'm going to show <clears throat> and that's the rules that we played for, for, for this series of videos. Those, that's my favorite version of the game too. That's why I'm making it first. Uh, I am going to cover corner play another time, but uh, this is my favorite version of the game. <clears throat> it makes for a most playable game, in my opinion. Okay, and then the, the way of capturing is custodial capture, just like we went over in this series, where uh, a piece is surrounded on two sides, the guy's captured. Landing between two pieces is safe. You can't capture diagonally, and in this version, the king cannot take place in captures. It makes for a little bit more playable game when he's surrounded on four sides. So... And then, just like in Toblet, uh, the throne is off limits uh, once the king's left. Pieces other than the king can't be captured against the throne. The king's side can move first in this game, um, and that's one of the neat differences. In Toblet, the, the king's side should move first, but in this game, Nefetop, uh, the, the, the attackers here do have good moves at his disposal to play at first. Toblet, he doesn't. He, he has to play second. Um, this game, either side, there's not really a, that dis distinct of an advantage either way in this in this game, uh, which side moves first. So 
uh, you know, you, you, you can decide with whoever you're playing with who will move first. Um, but just like in Toblet, though, the next rule, the last rule, is that there's no perpetual check. If the king's attacking the side and is blocked, he can't keep attacking it three times the same way three times in a row. It's a it's a, a loss for the king's side for for white. Okay, and so now the same strategies. <clears throat> once again, I have a series of ten videos here discussing Toblet in great detail about the different strategies for both sides and the different openings. Just going to go over the same things would follow. Black needs to the black side needs to keep good shapes in the base camps. Um, he need, he wants to try and maintain uh, one to two pieces on every rank and file. Um, pawn structure is very important. He wants to watch out for don't make double pawn st structures, don't make triple pawn structures, don't make quadruple pawn structures, and etc. He wants to uh, utilize uh, chains, pawn chains. Those are diagonals, and once again, to show how powerful a diagonal structure is in this in this type of game, refer to refer to this here, the Toblet series. Um, but, and this is one of the reason why I'm making this series is because I just want to show you that the chains are a little different for 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 black because of the size of the board and the number of the pieces. So the pawn chains in this game are going to look like this. Uh, what you want to make for the strategy for for black okay so that so they look like this Oops, my bad. Um, so that's what you want to concentrate on making um, then there's another difference between tablet besides the structure is the open and close games look a little different uh, if you recall in the Toblet series of videos that I made, um, uh, you know, the king side would have a pawn chain just by moving one piece, uh, the pieces farthest away from the king, just sort of one space, and he, he'd have a good chain. This is a little different. Um, he kind of has to, you can make, figure out for yourself, but like here's one that you, a possible one that you could have. So you've made two chains here just by those couple moves there. You know, you have this chain here and you have this chain here. Um, so this would be a closed, pretty much a, a, a closed game. Um, a closed game also would just be mo moving kind of one piece, keeping your pieces connected. And it's perfectly fine if you want to play a closed game. I'm more of an open game player on this version on this version of top. An open game just means they become disconnected and they and, and they move farther towards the edge. So the open game is going to look a little little different uh, than toplet. Uh, so you want to keep that in mind. You also want to uh, keep in mind if you remember from the toplet series um, in the openings videos, you know. You can white can attack this right away, and that's the fastest game. That's the fastest tempoed game, and um, it's immediate attack on that piece there. Now, in Toblet, you don't have this piece over here. You just have or over here. You just have kind of this setup, the base camp setup like that. So, you it's a little easier to get away with that, but you have to just keep in mind that obviously this game's going to be a little different. So when you when you make a move like that then, you know, he can be captured right away like that. Um, <clears throat> however, Black probably wouldn't want to do that. Um, because that leads me into the next difference. If you remember in Toblet, the key to the game on both sides is control of... White has, a, White has four files that are half open at the start of the game. And that's the most... Uh, powerful, uh, you know, strategic asset for uh, for for the white side in Toblet. We don't have the, we don't have that uh, in this game because of the set, the difference is set up differently in Toblet. They're set up like a cross uh, in a pattern of a cross. This game, the white side is set up as a wedge. This is a wedge shape, which is actually perfectly reasonable. Um, the the Vikings, 
you know, this date, this game dates back. The Vikings may have they played this game, and um, they actually would fight in in wedge formation. I found in a history book that was talking about different formations that, that the Vikings would have, and a wedge shape like this is actually one of them. So, and actually, <clears throat> the um, I can talk briefly about the documentation of the game. This game actually has not been really documented. Documented. This game's kind of a guess. We do know that they had 11 by 11 boards. We do know that white was set up like this, but it could be set up like this from um, a 16th century writing found um, about the version that the Vikings had in Wales called Tavelbord, as the Welsh name of it. And um, white was set up like this, but black was set up differently. There, there is no documentation showing this exact setup of the, of the board. You want to keep that in mind. Uh, if you're interested in the history of the game. Um, anyway, well, Toblet's well documented. The Toblet uh, setup is is accurate uh, from a guy in the uh, 18th century documented some people playing the game. <clears throat> but anyway, um, so so now it's the, uh, this file's open, and so that it plays a key strategic point. Um, thing to think about for both sides. Black wants to close the file. Black now needs to make sure he has, you know, when he makes moves, he needs to, you know, now this one's closed. Now this one's closed. You know, he moves here, now that one's closed. So, and then, you know, and the king side wants to, you know, if Black's not closing them, then the king side really wants to move there because, you know, if he moves there and nobody's on it, then it's checkmate because he can move to either side. Black can't, Black can only block one at a time. So, um, <clears throat> again, on how to open and how to open files for white, you want to look at the um, this series here on top. But um, the point I'm just making now is that now instead of it being half open, as in Tabla, it's now fully open. So it's a little more, um, you know, a little little <clears throat> you know, a little more important, I guess you should say. Um, so that's about it. Um, and then just, the, you know, so those are the differences that I really wanted to cover. But basically, once again, the strategies are the same, um, between, between Toblet and Nefetopl. As far as Black doesn't want to isolate pawns on the edge of the board. Uh, he wants to get out of check with the piece closest to the king. Um, it's not always apt, but, um, that's usually the case. Uh. You know, create pawn chains. White wants to create pawn chains. Both sides really want to. Um, white wants to keep pieces near the king. The king near his pieces. Uh, don't. Neither side wants to move the pieces, and especially in the opening. Um, you know, more than once. You don't want to keep just moving the same guy around and around. And around. We want to develop your pieces around the board. Um, each side wants to try and get the other to lose tempo. Um, the white side wants to try and have two threats at once. Um, the white side wants to try and force isolations, f get get black to where he had he's his only choice is to is to isolate a pawn on the edge of the board, and those types of things. So, once again, refer to this for a more in depth look. The video I just made just now, I'm just talking about the the differences between Toblet and this one, which is there's just only a few strategic differences. I think I covered those pretty well. And then uh, this is the website to go to to play this game. Thank you.